three. I'm here at the old biscuit mill uh, in uh, Salt River in Cape Town. I live in Cape Town now, I've been living here for three months, so I'm a Cape Townian now, so I'm going to do a lot of uh, Cape Town type of stuff. Uh, this is a market, a very popular market, it's on uh, Saturdays and Sundays. But anyway, so you can see there's a lack of vibe going on here, so I'm going to just show you the market, come here on Sundays and Saturdays, Old Biscuit Mill, Woodstock, Salt River, I think this is more Salt River. So let's go check out the market. Tell me, sir, about your wonderful looking pasta here. Okay, so this is the life story of the tagliatella. This one is the mother. There is the dough. Then from here goes to here. This is now the fetus. Then we cut it. There we go. This is like free range eggs with just flour, so very basic. And then we have our little guys that they become then our uh, nest. And then you can put whatever you want. This is now the taste my mom. She, she, she wants to do today a carbonara of zucchine. So it's like a vegetarian carbonara. She gave me the taste. Let's check it out. If uh, it's uh, worth it. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Mama, Mama's pasta. Mama never, never fail. So you make it all fresh here and it's all homemade and you are actually Italian. I am, I am from Modena. There we go. See Modena feast. You know Modena, we make the Ferrari of the bar, of the food. Great. We have 62 years old traditional balsamic vinegar. This is something that you won't even find in the market over there. Because my mom, she was 14 when my nonno bought the old barrels. So we got like, this is like gold. Wow. Great. Yes, amazing. Thanks, so man. yes, welcome to the market. And hopefully you have a beautiful day. What's your name? Your name? My name is Filippo. Graziella. Come and see Filippo and Graziella and eat a wonderful homemade, handmade pasta. My name is Lorden Kirk. Tell me about your store. So my store, I've been here at the Biscuit Bowl uh, for, for 15 years, going on to 15 years. And um, I lived in numerous countries. And my style of food is from the Far East to Europe. So it's a Euro-Asian kind of food. And I do theater style cooking. And uh, our menu for the last uh, two to three years has been French inspired and Indian. And uh, you'll notice that my rolls are made, uh, they're called brioche and the recipe's from the south of France. 
Double baked with eggs, cream, butter, and sweet potato, laid with Asian slaw with fresh pomegranate, beetroot, ginger, and lime. And then we usually get all our cheeses from France, Italy, Germany, and Austria, and mostly uh, raw cheeses from the mountains. We flame grill it with our aged beef. Our beef is all halal, and it's hung for eight whole weeks with yellow fat. Usually it's Angus, and we flame grill it with brie and camembert with a 12-year-old aged balsamic reduction and a Japanese smoked plum sauce. So we take brioche, brioche, brioche. Japanese mayo with brioche. Ladies and gentlemen, you definitely not here for boring. Asian slaw, fresh pomegranate, beetroot, ginger, lime, fermented chili. The chili is fermented for 12 whole months. It wouldn't cost it. Then we take extra virgin olive oil, truffle oil. So, so boring. Swiss Italian cheeses. There's one ready there. So today the cut is sirloin with the fillet. Flame grilled and Japanese smoked plum sauce with smoked paprika. With 13 Swiss Italian cheeses today, brie and camembert with farm butter. Flame grilled with brie, with camembert, Japanese smoked plum sauce. with Gona Padano. Parmesan cheese, 36 months aged in the Italian Alps. There we go. Fermented chili, Japanese mayo, Ready? I don't know why you're ordering more food. Yeah, just some veggies on the side. There's only one plate, unfortunately. And I'm giving away food. Tell me about your store. I will tell you about my store. Oh, okay. So we're called the Lobster Mob. We sell everything lobster. We have amazing stuff over here. Our best seller is our lobster roll. Um, it's a toasted brioche bun, lobster fried in lobster butter, garlic butter seasoning, top of that sauces. It's amazing stuff. Our lobster bombs are three cheeses, lobster deep fried, and top of that sauces. We have everything lobster. It's amazing. To anybody that watches this video, I want to grow my channel, please subscribe. I need, need subscribers, it helps me a lot. Like and, it and subscribe, yes. Like and subscribe, thanks. It seems to be mostly a food type of vibe you're going for. Lots of food. Uh, tell me about who you are, tell me about your store. Okay, this is uh, Ani Kep Malay. Uh, I do uh, traditional Malaysian food. The food from Malaysia. I do the spicy food. You can see all of the stuff I'm using for curry. And normally my food is make it with a natural spicy. That natural spicy is nice for the for the system. Because all the spice come from the from the plants. I have some of the, like a seed, like a see samosa, I make it with the fennel seed. It's also nice for the system. You can also I use like a kusista with the cinnamon powder. Especially salmon, with the, with the salmon. salmon powder is very nice for the system. 
You can also drink like a tea. It's very nice with the system. It's also turmeric powder. It's also nice for the system. It cleans all the system. It's also healthy for your body. It's so it's not any chemical, spicy, all these plants. So it's very nice. My name is Ani. Normally, uh, I'm original from Congo, but I work for Cape Malay in Bukap for 10 years. So I work. You know so your stuff. I know my stuff. I know everything about the Malaysian. I know everything about the spice because uh, and uh, all the spice. I I grew up in uh, Africa. I know about the plant. I know about herb. I know about everything. So that is a nice food for the body for the system. like to tell me about your stall? Sure thing, uh, we do all kinds of cannabis infused products, mostly the CBD kind of variants, good for stress, good for anxiety, helps with sleep, helps with pain and inflammation, high blood pressure, diabetes, a whole range of products. We have from teas, gummies, biscuits, uh, like lollipops, uh, as well as the oils, which is our main, main, main sellers. So this is only CBD, no THC? Uh, no, we, we don't do THC products for the most part. Uh, like there are some companies which have a more full spectrum kind of product, but it's still not intended to be a THC edible or anything. So if I have anxiety like me, some days I spend in the dark room, this helps for anxiety, right? Helps with anxiety, stress, tension, helps improve focus, concentration as well. We have more some that are more specific for different needs as well. So we infuse different terpenes, essential oils to strengthen those effects. And I'm sure you don't smoke any marijuana. You don't use of marijuana, are you? I, I'm a very regular user of cannabis and marijuana all the time. But uh, yeah, that's 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 me and my private uh, life, not not while I'm at work, you know. Okay, this is a close uh, section. I just push my microphone into people's faces because it's more spontaneous. This guy looks like he, he's got a, he can speak. He looks like an interesting guy. Let's just see if he wants to talk about his stall. Oh. Is it your stall? Yeah. Tell me about the stall, man. Yeah, man. Um, this is a vintage stall. Uh, only um, like I sell shirts. As you see, I source the shirts from Mozambique, Tanzania and Malawi. Uh, I've been having this store for now three uh, three years. I came in like what last year summer, and yeah, man, it's literally been a blast. Literally been a blast. And where are you from? Um, born and bred from Cape Town, um, in the northern suburbs. So yeah, and I have my studio here around the corner. So everything is just you know trying to. Let me stand here with you, but are you connected with people from Malawi? Say, bring stuff from Malawi. Yeah, 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 my source here brings stuff from Malawi and Tanzania and Namibia. So you don't go there? No, 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 I don't go there myself. No. You should go there. I've been there twice. It's like, <laughs> is it? It's really nice. I've heard that. It's yes. really, really relaxing. And Namibia is like the place to be right now. So yeah, you walk barefoot and smoke some marijuana and chill. <laughs> That's right? marijuana as well. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's not legal in Malawi, though, marijuana. So uh, maybe I, I should probably edit this part out. <laughs> it's not, no, it's, it's illegal in is it illegal? Malawi. Malawi yeah. Ah, shit, I feel like Cape Town. Yeah, you should go there. <laughs> cool. How it? Hello? Hello. You want to tell me about your store? Uh, our store? Well, we are Sexy Socks <laughs> and it's locally made and we've got a, what is this? We've got our cotton range over here, we've got our bamboo range over there and 